This is the Philippines. I'm visiting Manila to try some of the best food that the Philippines has to offer. I'm also exploring the people, the culture, and so much more. From Balut to Jollibee to incredible wet markets, I'm going deep to find out the truth about one of the most underrated countries in Asia. With that said, let's go to the Philippines. Okay. So, well, room what, 501? Yes, yeah, sir, the fifth floor. Okay. This is the best hotel in Manila, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the name of the city here? The this is uh, Alabang, Muntinlupa. Alabang, yes. Alabang. Okay, Muntinlupa is the area, Alabang, south, right? Yes, yeah, okay, south. <laughs> Tell me about the hotel. Yes, the hotel is very new and we're a, a boutique hotel. We, we, are, we have a great interior designing like this one. As you can see, it's very unique. And also, sir, let's go. And I, I hear your pool is ridiculous. <laughs> yes. I mean, the photos and everybody that I see photos, it's like the pool and just the view is just yes, amazing. the view is amazing. Oh, I love these doors. Yes. These doors are awesome. So, sir, this is your room. Okay. So, you just want to eat. We'll just eat. We'll take you and we'll a, take you to a, first and foremost, we'll take you to a the biggest fast food chain here. It's called Jollibee. You have to try it. Jollibee? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, that's the biggest. It, it's like three times the size of of McDonald's here in the Philippines at least. Okay, perfect. So we'll try that. We'll go to a, then we'll have proper dinner. Okay, we'll so we're gonna eat two drink. different dinners. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, you know what? We're planning Don't, three. We're plan we actually planned three dinners for three you. Three dinners. He was like, he's American. He can take it. <laughs> oh my god! But I really want to try is the egg. The balut. Uh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. And I want to right, kill right. me. We'll, we'll, no, no, no. We'll no, give no. you balut. No, no. We'll no. give you balut. I don't want the balut. <laughs> You didn't you tell didn't me! I didn't get your egg. I thought, egg, what the fuck does he want egg for bacon? <laughs> <laughs> You're my guide. So this is the, the biggest fast food. Mm. So you don't want? No, I'm okay. Oh, no. When you come from Thailand where you're spoiled, it's like, you know. That's all right. In Thailand, what's the Thai dish? The noodle dish? Pad Thai. Pad Thai. This is the okay. local Pad Thai dish. Pad Thai. Okay. And it's great. And then, uh, what is the chicken with the gravy? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of chicken there, too. So you know, finish it. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, we're going to two more places. Mmm, it's different, right? The gravy is great. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to finish. If I eat this whole thing, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but Filipinos don't eat too much, no? No. Rice is there. First thing I have to go over there. Rice is there. I think it's Asia, right? Yeah. Oh, the chicken is delicious. Alabe? Abe. Abe. A B E. Oh, A V. So a Avenue. A, a B E. Abe. 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 Yeah. A B E. Abe. Fine dining Filipino food. The land is privately owned. Okay. In well, Philippines, we have a lot of malls. As okay. You can see, this is a mall that we're going to. Oh, so it's in the mall. Yeah, it's in the mall. So, so you can. So you guys are a mall culture. Yeah. So we're entering this mall to go eat at Abe. Perfect time to come here. It's Christmas. You know, you think it's hot and everything, but right now this is cool for us. <laughs> you know, summertime at night you'll be sweating your ass off. Oh, here, here's Abe. <laughs> so this is Abe Fine Dining Filipino Restaurant. So, is there anything specific we're gonna try? Or Audrey would know more. We'll okay, Audrey's gonna know. <laughs> we'll wait for. I love this guy, dude. <laughs> And currently the exchange rate is 50 pesos to one US dollar, so three dollars for a juice. So we're, mm. but it's like it's like a smoothie, really, right? That's fresh. Mm. No, it's delicious. How many fruits are in this country? A lot. Thousands. I mean, that list is huge. Remember when Nico went here, bro? He was here for a week. So he arrived. We, I brought him around and stuff like that. 
then I flew to Boracay, one of the best islands in the Philippines. Boracay? Boracay. So Borke, Cebu, these are the main ones, right? We have Palawan. Palawan is very nice. Palawan is big now. surfer these days. A lot of Americans are here. So, what is it? Tilapia, so it's open tilapia and deep fried. Okay, with so it's batter. So, so it's supposed to be super crispy. Yeah. So it's crispy tilapia, deep fried. Yes. Nice. And, and this, this one? one is curry curry. It's um peanut based sauce. Okay. With eggplant, beans and Okay. So So you put the shrimp on there? Yeah, and then the soup. <laughs> So I oh, just break it all up. Yeah, it's a household staple. Oh, it's a household staple. Yeah. This. It has everything: the, the vegetables, the soup. You put a lot of the soup on the rice, right? Okay. So how you do it? Hmm. Right. Yeah, it needs that saltiness. It's very sweet. This is really good food. Mm. You know, if you love peanut, like a peanut dressing, you love this dish. Yeah. It's like satay. Exactly, it's like a satay, and uh, but I love how they, how you guys put the fish paste. It's fish paste, yeah. right? Shrimp, shrimp paste. Oh, shrimp paste. Yeah. It's like small. Oh, yeah. Really small. I didn't even notice that. It's like like tiny, tiny shrimp. What are they called? Bagoong. Bagoong. Yeah, bagoong. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fried tilapia. That's the sauce? Yeah, or the soy sauce. I'll probably like the soy sauce. Yeah. This is a fried, deep fried tilapia. And there's two. They another way of eating it. This lumpia style. So you. Really? Oh, yeah. I wrap it around the mustasa. It's mustard leaves. Okay. And then you put on, you put on the sauce. Hmm. I asked him to do it. Perfect. Fried <laughs> right tilapia with rice. Mm. Oh, good. And this is like a rice shrimp sauce. It's good. I'm telling you, this is very good tilapia. Really good, right? Then uh, you get a small uh, catfish. Okay. And then uh, this is a mustache lip strip. Okay. For this. And uh, you know what you have to grab? You put in a uh, mustache lips on the middle. Mm. Fermented rice and shrimp. So funny. So you roll lumpia. it? You know lumpia, sir? Mm -hmm. Lumpia. It's an onion, after that, sir, you eat. Like yes. that? You try this. Mmm. Very good. This leaf, what type of leaf is this? Mustard. Mustard? Mustard. Oh, man, we should do the, all of them. Ah, really? Definitely. Yeah, careful with the spines. So bud, where are we going next? Alright, we're going to Gilligan's next. Gilligan's next? It's called Gilligan's. Okay. We usually eat that with rice, but for you, we won't eat it with rice. <laughs> so we have big cheeks right here, yes. right? On a sizzling plate. On a sizzling plate? It's like a fajita. And I thought we were done with food. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Are you drinking? Yeah, I'll get this one. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Glad to have you here, buddy. Thank you. Red horse. It's hot sauce. 
Yeah, hot sauce. Oh, nice. <laughs> you guys are so good. So I'm gonna try pig's cheek. Mm. Has managed, yeah. They're known for this chicken, it's number one. It's mm. very good. It's fantastic. Good, so I'll try it. And with the beer. Oh, there's like a chicharron in this. Yeah. So they're telling me usually when you drink, you eat something very fatty, right? So we're, this is we're eating chicharron, which is basically fried, uh, what is it, the pig? Cheek. Oh, okay, so it's... Cheek. Cheek. So it's called sisik, so it's like fried pig cheeks with mayonnaise, I think there's some vegetables. Perfect, cheers. At Gilligan's, at Gilligan's Island. <laughs> so funny, dude. I'm not but sure. in the world, I, uh, I'm well, not sure. Uh, probably, uh, possibly, but yeah, I have yet to see um, evidence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but okay, anyway, it's, it's hard. It's hard. But so, what we're gonna do? We're gonna try some food. Yeah, we're gonna eat uh, and we're gonna walk around this very interesting neighborhood and just basically have a taste of it um, through eating. Yeah. So basically, this is a part of the city. So you have these old historic neighborhoods. Uh, this is the Chinese Quarter, so just across the river you have the Spanish Colonial Quarter. Okay. So, um, you know, the streets are tighter. Yeah, yeah. The, the, you know, uh, it's more buzzing, but it has lots of interesting old school character. Like this one. And so, what, do you have like a, a route of different foods uh, that you take people on? In, in the standard tours, yes. But since we are doing a vlog, this is uh, just to, be, uh, this guy is very busy. Okay. It's just because the sea and so <laughs> it's really just like a person. No, no problem. Well, no, 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 no. okay, we'll <laughs> don't worry, I'll put, I'll put your tours in my description. So. Uh, yeah, 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 just, we'll just, okay. just chill and try out some local specialties, basically. Perfect. Um, come. This activity, basically, it's, um, since it's a food walk, and by walk, we spell that as W-O-K, uh, part of a, a cow. And, and fried. <laughs> and fried. And uh, eaten with uh, achara, which is pickled papaya, and dipped okay. with chili sauce. We're also having a tofu dish. It's, a, it's one of their house specialties. It's called Tokwa ni Amma Pilar, which is the, uh, means basically the Amma Pilar's tofu. So it's invented by the owner. A bit of that. Again. Oops. Okay. Let's get up. No, it's chili sauce. Mild chili sauce. And this one has egg. It's also lumpia, but it doesn't have skin. We call it lumpia mubat. We have to mix everything. And here we go. Who's gonna lang dito? Next up. Who's gonna? Yeah. Kanina wala. Wow. Saka mangkok, kaya yung mangkok. Oh, I can't wait, bro. Yeah. I should try it. Thank you. It needs more spice. Is this sriracha? No, it's local. It's just a local. Sunshine. Mahal ang sriracha. So next is this shrimp with a fried, uh, you said, what is this? Me, uh, meat. It's meat. Yeah. So it's a meat, like a wrapping. It's like a shrimp fritter. Okay, so it's a shrimp fritter. It's so, chili sauce. Chili sauce, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. Very crunchy. Finally, this one. You said uh, chase it with this, right? Uh, yeah, that is the uh, achara. That's the pickled mm. And that's like a palate cleanser. Thank you. What is this? 
That's pancit sate migi sa. It's noodles uh, with uh, with our homemade um, sate, which is a bit spicier. It's noodles it's with noodle with uh, peanut sauce. Okay. <laughs> with uh, local spinach, which we call as kangkong. It's kangkong. It's kangkong. spinach. Yeah. Kangkong. Uh, yeah, it's a local spinach and beef. Yeah, I like it. I like the this It's a 61 year old restaurant. Uh, and what they serve here are traditional um, Hokkien Chinese dishes since majority of the uh, local Chinese community are of uh, Hokkien Chinese ancestry so they came from Fujian province. So we're having here uh, sort of like home style um, uh, food, uh, which will include uh, soups and certain dishes. But what is this? Fried chicken? Uh, this is fried chicken. And it's, the other uh, thing? It's called uh, the rice. It's called kiampung. It's basically a rice with um, meats, with um, peanuts, no, and a lot of things. So it's it's a meal unto its own. Oh, I like that. Uh, you pair this with the soup. With the rice. With the rice, sorry, yeah. It's it's not fancy Chinese food, it's very honey. This is my favorite here. And this is? This is called kikyam. It's a meat roll that is flavored with pipe spice and wrapped in tofu skin. Okay, well I see. This is and what is this called? Tonic soup? It's called Go Hyung Soup Number Five. Buntot. Yeah, oxtail. Oxtail. Uh, we should be around ten minutes from Chinatown. Driving. Yes, driving. With no traffic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> should be okay. So as you can see, the Chinatown is like everything is around between five and ten story buildings. Um, it's, it's very nice. I mean, I like it. It's uh, it's really old. It feels like you're in a real Chinatown. I've been to some Chinatowns that, that don't look or feel like Chinatown, you know? <laughs> so It's an old city. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be there in a sec. Colonial buildings, here we come. Speci uh, specific trades, which okay. are usually old trades, like there's paper street, there's street for um, jewelry, there's a street for this, there's a street for that. So every so all around Chinatown, there's just streets. Uh, di yeah, specific streets yes. for, for different uh, trades. Yes, uh, that's why it's not except for the food. It's uh, it's not a very touristy Chinatown like in San Francisco, uh, but it has a very interesting character, and a lot of a lot of us, a lot of locals like coming here uh, just to eat and you know soak up on the old uh, atmosphere of the place. Mm -hmm. So. I hope you guys like the food because I love the first one okay. and then I love noodles, the, we had tofu. In the second one was my favorite. So uh, in the third place I liked the fried not the fried chicken but the oh, one the next to it. The yeah. kikia. The, uh, the meat meat roll. The meat roll. Meat roll, yeah. And then the last one obviously I liked both things. It yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, I mean I loved sweet. everything. It was really good, but I'm like I'm popping right now, so yeah. uh, well, that's that's a food walk here yeah. here uh here with uh, us in our uh, tours. And usually uh, it starts at 9 a.m. It usually starts at 9 a.m., uh, 9, 9 to 12, and uh, most of the time when the tour is done, most people don't really have lunch anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I'm, that, not, I'm not having that's dinner. That's the idea, <laughs> right? You eat, you walk, you learn a little, and you get to appreciate more, you know, the heritage of this part of our city. So this is the the oh. old square during the 16th century yeah, the, with the cathedral. Yes, Plaza Mayor. Plaza Mayor, and then over here we have the government's uh, Governor General's Palace. Right here we have the Governor General's yeah, Palace. Right, and then you had the City Hall to, to the to the back. Okay, City Hall. Yeah, it was a walled and town where basically where the Spanish had um, their ruling institutions. So Perfect. basically. It was the colonial government and the Catholic Church. So the two things which the uh, Spanish ruled, which basically ruled the colony at the time and the city. 
And if you're wondering why they call it intramuros, intramuros muros means in between the walls. That's in Spanish. Inside that's the walls. Inside the walls. It's uh, intramuros. Latin. It's not Spanish. <laughs> You want water? I'm good. It's, it's everything and everything on Manila, from the good to the bad to the ugly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a lovely view. Wow. See, that's the bay where our city began. You have the walls underneath. We have the museum district, but this used to be our old government buildings that was built in the 20th century. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed those epic shots in Manila. Now I'm going to see the gate at the fort. Whew, it's hot. Give me some water. The water is too hot. <laughs> How do you say thank you again? Thank you. Salamat. 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 And it's called the big. What do you say? It's the Bailey Hotel. No, no, no. The water, water. Ah, too big, too big. Water, water is too big, too big. It's like too big. big. <laughs> okay. Hey. So yeah, this has been a great day here in Manila. I'm just gonna finish it off here at the fort. I really enjoyed the food tour in Chinatown and I just bought myself an epic paddle. Uh, as you guys know, you know, I collect masks and uh, yeah, instead of getting masks like I didn't see one I liked, I got a paddle, huge paddle. I don't know if I'm gonna carry it home, but I'm gonna do my best. Thank you, thank you so much. All right. Let's go see the fort. Hello. Thank you. So this is the day's over. I'm about to catch an Uber and head back to my hotel. I'm destroyed. Take care, guys. What up? What up? The Philippines. It's amazing. So across from the fort, you have Manila's Cathedral, and it was built the same date as the fort, 1571. Hey, how you doing? Let me see if I can fit this in here. My paddle. Okay. All right, how long is it gonna be? An hour? 58 minutes. 50? 58 minutes. Oh my God. David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in beautiful Manila, the Philippines. I'm staying here at the Zumi Boutique Hotel in the Alabang area, which is the southern part of Manila. And as you can see, this is the rooftop pool. It's ridiculous. So sick. And today, my plan is to go visit a few wet markets. Wet markets are public markets filled with food. This is where Filipinos go to buy their food, their sausage, endless seafood, baskets filled with exotic fruits, mountains of rice. Wet markets are the best way to get to know the world of Filipino food. Now let's go. You gonna help me or what? Yeah, I will help you. I'll try my best. <laughs> right, so basically, I'm looking for a guide really quick. And uh, that's not him. I think this is him. All right, James, ready to go? 
So James is my Uber driver, but he's gonna be my guide for the today. We're gonna yes. go to three wet markets. Yes. Uh, first one is Farmers Market. Farmers Market. It's called Farmers Market Areneta Cabao. 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 City, yes. Okay, perfect. And what we're gonna see there? Do you know? Uh, wet and dry markets are. That's a big market here in Manila. Okay. So it's a wet and dry market. So that means there's food and then there's yes. also clothing so that's the dry part yes. clothing yes okay all right let's go it's gonna be a uh, lots of traffic oh no sir we're gonna skyway. use skyway perfect it's gonna take us roughly about one hour to get there from our hotel and uh if you guys didn't know manila is very expansive it's a huge city and right now it's actually a holiday so he was saying that if there if it wasn't a holiday and it was traffic it would take double the time right yes sir easily wow double or triple time sir triple the time my god i can't even imagine that but luckily it's a holiday <laughs> yes, sir. thank god it's holiday <laughs> james hi sir are we almost there or what sir we're almost there yes sir we're close we're three minutes away they're here. Okay, so we arrived here at the farmer's market at Aneta Cobao. This is one of the oldest farmer markets in the city, over 40 years old. And there's many different sections here. Fruit, eggs, uh, live produce. I mean, there's so many different things. And uh, wow, it smells like fish. Yes, sir. <laughs> so James, what is that? This, this we call tahong. What tahong, is sir. Tahong. Tahong. So yes. mussels, basically. Those yes. are like we have here. We have mussels. We have snails, and we have clams. Yes. So this is the seafood section here yes. in the market. Wow, so many fish. Here we have live crab. Yes, sir. Show me, show me. Crab, let me see that crab. Nice. What type of crab is this? Can I grab? Can I grab? Oh my god, he's stuck. Look at this crab. Let's go, lots of squid. So the reason why they caught wet markets, wet markets, is because the floor is soaked. And why is that? Well, obviously because they're cleaning fish and produce everywhere. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. You're gonna cut a fish? Oh my god, there's a fish here. So James, where to next? Uh, where do you want, sir? Meat shop, sir. I don't know, so butchers? Here, meat, produce? Yes, sir. Meat, right? Meat, sir. Meat. Okay. For the meat. Meat section, sir. Uh, this is the pork, pork section, sir. All over. And over there is a chicken. chicken. So right here we have a lot of pork. We have pork sausages. Here we have chicken. Yes, sir. Chicken, oh yes. Looks good. Looks good. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Chicken. So fresh. Chicken. Uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have all pork. You can see what, what are you cutting there? Which piece of the pork? Yeah. What piece is that? What piece? Pork shoulder. Pork shoulder. Pork, shoulder. Okay. The pork, pork butt. There's a pork butt. There's the pork, pork shoulder. Belly. Pork belly. Oh, it looks really good here. Yeah, sure. I think we have to buy some and go to the dampa. Okay, sir. <laughs> Where are you from, sir? United States. Ah, welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. So over here to the left, we have the beef section. Ooh, bloody, bloody. Lots of chicken everywhere. Hey, how you doing? Oh my God, to the end. Where's the beef? Oh, here's the beef. Oh, here we go. Goat section, sir. 
Goat section. Yes. So here we have the goat section. Damn. Look at this guy. Now we're going to walk through the vegetable section. They got everything you can ever want in terms of veggies. Whew. God, this section is huge. Wow. They also have fruit here, no? Fruits, sir. Fruits. Fruits. <laughs> Big market. Okay, so next up, we're gonna enter the dampa. The dampa is where you go to cook the food you just bought. They also have restaurants, so instead of buying food, we're just gonna go in there, go to a restaurant, and have some delicious Filipino food. Yes. Wow, there's so many things. Is it honey over here? I'm gonna buy some honey. I'm gonna buy some honey after this. So there's a lot of different like uh, vendors here, or little restaurants, and I chose this one. Like <laughs> Oh my god, the girls here, the girls. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with uh, some mussels, vegetable, eggplant, squid, and some fried shrimp. Good? That one, what's that one? Fish. Baxil. Baxil. I don't know, do I try that? Under. Dinero na intindihan? Blanca. I'm gonna say it's Blanca. Oh, ano na yun? Lang na yun. They're all crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, say hi. Oh, like that? Oh. Hi. 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 So the way it works here is like buffet style, you just ask for whatever you want, they give you a little portion in like these little bowls as you're gonna see right now. Oh my god, it looks great. Rice. So here we got a little feast. Uh, we got some vegetables, eggplant, fried shrimp, mussels, and calamari. The calamari, I already tried it, it's delicious. And here in the Philippines, every single meal is accompanied by, or every meal is accompanied with rice. Rice. All right, so we'll both grab one of these. Let's grab one. Bam, right there. Thank you, sir. No problem. So, I should probably put some of this on my rice, I'm sure. Oh my god. No, the food here in the Philippines, it's really nice. Mm. Mm. This sauce is delicious. Is there any hot sauce with this? Good. Mm. It has a little bit of spicy. spicy. Yeah. You try the, the eggplant. Mm. Mm. It's this bagong with this. For it, what bagon? Bagon, sir. Uh, Hot sauce. Yes, sir. Not not hot sauce. Sir. Um, it's like a chili paste. Chili, some some kind of a chili paste. Sir. Chili, chili, sir. Hmm. It's a nice chili, not too hot. Yes, sir. It's perfect. And our deep fried shrimp. Hmm. It's all very good for you. <laughs> chili, sir. I'm okay with the chili. I had too much chili in Thailand. Let's try this. Mmm. It's like a sweet potato. And yes, this sir. is like a... What is that? Like cabbage? No, it's not no, cabbage. No, no. You know Ampalaya, sir? Ampalaya, no. Oh, but this is, this is a jalapeno, no? Mm hmm? Good, sir. Yeah, man. And obviously, the Philippines is an island nation, so you gotta eat, have some more seafood, and that includes mussels. Mmm. Wow, it's fresh. But you know what? I'm gonna get a little bit with my, a little bit of chilies with my mushroom. Mmm. Dude, love it. Mm. Water? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir. This is yours, sir. And this is yours? Yes, sir. Because <laughs> I can't drink it. Yeah, that's one thing is that in the Philippines, if you're a foreigner, you should always drink bottled water. Obviously, you don't need me to tell you why. So he just poured some vinegar for the, the shrimp. For the fried shrimp, sir. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah, better. And these shrimp, I mean, this is all head and tail, everything in here. Just dip it in here. Thing is a squid. Yes, sir. Because the sauce is so nice. Have you had some? I'm sure. Yeah. Here we have. Mas, mas, mas thai. Shrimp tempura. Mm. Wow, that's very, very nice. Good. The best, sir. The best, right? The best. The best shrimp tempura in the Philippines. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what is that? Kare kare, sir. Kare kare in what the Philippines. Uh, it's a uh, also part of the pork. Part and, of the pork. And then it has a peanut. So here we have kori kori, which is pork with peanut sauce. Mm. If you like peanut dressing, this is a dish for you. Very nice. What else is in here? Some spinach. A lot of more. Some a lot of fat in here. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it. You have a lot of fat here. <laughs> yeah. mm. I love this. Eggplant is one of my favorite things to eat. You know. So nice. Okay, so that entire meal cost 300 pesos and that yeah. is six US dollars. Pretty good deal. So they have an egg section here. Wow, lots of eggs. And every single egg is different. I mean, this. what's the difference here between this red egg? What is that? It's salty egg, sir. Oh, the salty egg. Salty egg. Okay. Salty egg. Double yolk. So they have double yolks? Wow. Is it quail eggs? Little quail eggs, they have fresh duck eggs right here. This. I'm impressed. It's nice. So if you're looking to get eggs in the Philippines, come here. <laughs> come here. So besides the eggs, they also have rice, noodles, clothing. Oh, it smells great here. That's it. Now we're off to the next market. You are only the one. My God, it must be like 105 degrees. Do you know the temperature? 30, 40? It must 40? be 40, sir. 40. 
40 Celsius, like a hundred and something. Wow. The things you do for the vlog. We just arrived in our second huge market. It's called the Mega Q Market in Quezon City. It is huge, it's completely different. We're in the dry section right now. There's backpacks, there's uh, luggage, there's toys, clothing, a lot of Christmas stuff, because if you didn't know, in the Philippines, they love Christmas. They start like decorating their house in October. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's, let's explore this place and see what we buy. And buy some clothing. And when you start smelling that awful stench, you'll know you're getting to the wet market. And here we are. Whoa, it's very different. Oh shit, I almost slipped. Oh my god. Let's see, so more fish, more meat. I think there's a lot more fish here. Woo! Cats and stuff here. I almost killed a cat right there. Carefully, sir. It's slippery here. This one! That's one thing about the Philippines. Everybody's so friendly. Yes. Everybody's so nice. What do we have here? Just uh... sardines and stuff? Sir, this is uh, tambakol, yellowfin. Uh, it's our tuna here. Tuna. Belenggong, we call it Gigi. Gigi also. Gigi. Gigi. Belenggong is Gigi. Galunggong, sir. Belenggong. So these are a different type of tuna. There's so many different types of things. What's up, man? How are you doing? The food here never ends. And this is why they call it wet market. Let me show you. Like I said before, oh, just dried fish. Dried fish, okay. Can we try some? Dried fish. Can we try? Can we try? It needs to be cooked. It needs to be cooked. Okay. Fried. I have had dried fish where I could just eat it straight, but it's fine. No? You have to cook. Okay. Uh, this is Salinas, or what we call here Tuyo. Salinas, and that means sardines, actually, yes. right? Okay. This is Tinapa. Tinapa. Tinapa, here, sir. Tinapa. And this one is Dinaing. Daing na bangos. Daing na galunggong, sir. Here we go. So here rice we have sugar, rice, sugar, sugar. sugar. It's so hot. And then here we have another restaurant. These are the dampas here. Karinderia. Uh, a small type of eatery here. So Karinderia means small type of eatery. And that's like a very small, you know, sit-down restaurant, like buffet style, as you can see here. And uh, it's very nice. The food looks great, actually. We should eat here again. This is the vegetable section. It's massive. There's so many different vegetables. And yeah, I mean, again, this is just like any other market. They're all very similar. The layout's a little different, as you can see. This one's more narrow uh, hallways. And we're again in the egg section here. What do we have here? This oil? Oil, sir. Oil? Cooking, Cooking oil, okay. okay. It's buko here, it's a coconut drink, sir. Okay, yes, sir. coconut drink, why not? I've been drinking coconut every day I've been here, so. Let's try this. Honey. Oh, this is nice, okay. So they cut the coconut, yes, and they make a drink. fresh What do you want, sir? Uh, the big one or the small one? Big one, big one. Big one. I am with we got to Alright, here we go. Mm. That's what we call coco juice here, sir. Coconut juice. And they leave some of the skin from the inside. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Cheers. This is the best coconut juice ever. So I think the difference between any other coconut juice I've had is that this one they leave the skin inside. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a great flavor. Yes, sir. Mm. It also contains some milk. So milk. Milk. Okay. So you're saying it also contains milk? 
The thing yes. is that here in the Philippines, because of the heat, you need this to yes. survive. To refresh things. Refresh. Yeah, to refresh. <laughs> Mm. 15 pesos, sir. 15? 15 for how, and 15 pesos each one? No, sir. For our Total. all, for all our things. <coughs> 30 pesos, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> With his eyes closed. So that guy cutting the coconuts. He just dropped a coconut. Yeah, but, look. yeah without, <laughs> without looking, without looking, he could have cut his hand off. It's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so here we have more clothing, toys, iPhone cases. Oh man. He like doesn't end. And now what? Fruit? Fruit section. Fruit section. Bananas here, bananas there. Bananas all over. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the banana section. There's easily like a million bananas here. Yes. Sir. Oh my god. Hey. Well, but what type of melons? Sweet. 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 Melon? sweet. Yes, very sweet. Very sweet. A watermelon, sir. Watermelon. Watermelon. This is probably one of the largest markets I've ever been to in my life. Mayakue Market is massive. I mean, they have a section for each thing they have. Like, fruit? You want watermelon? It's like, look at that. Look at how many watermelons are over there. Over here we have pineapple, we have melons, bananas. I mean, this is bananas. I won't lie, it smelled pretty bad up there. Yes. <laughs> and now we're walking along side, outside the market. Street. So this is also like another piece of the market. It's like a street market. Street market, sir. Woo! Your first time seeing the drone? Yes, sir. <laughs> so I just shot the drone up so I could see Quezon <laughs> City. And I literally had a crowd of like 50 people around me watching me fly a drone. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and everybody, funny thing here in the Philippines, everybody knows what a vlogger is. It's, it's, a, it's a yes, really sir. amazing. All right, let's go back through here. Next up, we're headed to the Seaside Seafood and Wet Market in Balapagan Boulevard in, uh, what is the city called? Pasay City, sir. Pasay City. And this is the biggest seafood market in the Philippines. It is ginormous. It just vendor after vendor after vendor, lots of different seafood. They also have a dampa inside so you can take, you can buy the food, then walk over and cook it. One of the restaurants I was told to go to is called Josephine's. So we're gonna go explore the market and see if we find some halo halo. Yes. <laughs> We've arrived at the Seaside Seafood Wet Market and it's been open since 1974, so over 40 years. Hello sir, you do like the seafoods, like the prawns, squid, like the grouper and the scallop, all, all seafood kind here. Oh, wow. So that is a coconut crab. I've never seen this crab before. Only Philippines. Yes. It's like a crab with a tail, like that. Like lobster. Uh, spider. It look like a spider. Okay. Okay. Sleep time. Sleep time. Sleep time. Come back here. Perfect. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Oh my God. What is that? Oh my God. What is that? Coconut lobster. I've never seen it. That's huge. Look how huge this lobster is. Coconut lobster? No, lobster. No. Tiger it's lobster. Tiger lobster. Oh my god. Dead. Dead body. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Can I hold it? Yeah. So, what type of tiger? Tiger. 
Tiger lobster. Oh my god, this is a tiger lobster. It is huge. Tiger lobster. Actually, it's not so big. I saw a bigger one over there, but I mean, it's pretty amazing. Oh my god, I'm holding it from these spikes. Okay. Crazy. Okay. Whoa, that one's huge. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, what is that? Slipper <laughs> lobster. Rock lobster. Oh, I, I've yeah. seen these. Uh, Oh, so the guy's saying this is acidic eel. There's like three or four in there, and they're big. You can barely see it. What is that? That's an eel? Yes, not in. Eel. Oh, let me see. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Slippery. His younger brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was crazy. <laughs> that he just slipped out of the tank. So as you can see, people are buying their lunch and they're walking over to a restaurant and they're gonna just put it in there. And I think the cost is about 175 pesos for them to cook your food, which isn't bad. They're cooking the food and letting you sit at the restaurant. It's pretty good. So here we have mussels, scallops, oysters, snails. I mean, every type of shell you can imagine. It's crazy. Look at these guys. This is huge right here. Wow. And these? What are these? Elephant oh. shell. Oh my god, it's an elephant shell? Yeah. What type of crab is that? It's one. BB. What? BB. BB. Small size. Okay. Wow. Can you see? Amazing. Now this section is just crabs. You have full crabs, you have small, medium, large, king and queen, and then you have claws right here. And they sell the crabs and the claws by the kilo. And the claws are roughly 550 pesos, so like $11 for a kilo, which is pretty good. But I personally can't eat a kilo right now, so I'm not gonna buy it. Cell moving. What type of fish is this? It's grouper. It's grouper? Yes. What's wrong with his mouth? Mouth? It's not to have a tongue. Oh my god. Look at this tongue, I bet. Take it back. Squid. Squid, I love squid. Yeah. In su tinta, in su tinta. Yeah, but tinta. Tinta. <laughs> Take care guys. Wow. Okay. Do we just keep going? Where's the halo halo? We're gonna find halo halo, sir. Halo halo. Yeah. Where do I find the halo halo? Yeah, I got it. Check, 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 check. I want a halo halo. Halo halo. Halo halo halo. Shake that shake. Halo halo, man. So 200 per kilo. So one for 50 pesos. 50 pesos? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get these clams. It's 50 pesos for a quarter kilo, so 200 pesos for a kilo. So it's basically one dollar for half a quarter kilo. I got a quarter kilo for 50. I'm gonna walk on over and make my soup. 50? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Thank you. I mean, you gotta be adventurous. If you come to this, Seafood market, you have to buy some seafood and eat, right? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Uh, what kind of cook do you want, sir? Tofu soup? Tofu soup, yes. Chinese style. So, how much is it? Tofu soup? B, Makano tofu soup, 5.4. So I'm getting a tofu soup with my clams. Tofu soup. Uh, 200. How much? I think 200. 200? Yeah. Okay. For the one kilo is 300. Half kilo. It's Maybe 300 grams already half kilo. Consider half kilo. Vlogging, yeah, yeah. So how much was it for half? 
200. All right. So the tofu soup is 200 because uh, it's 300 for a kilo, but for a quarter or half a kilo of shells of clams, it's 200. So I mean, total is a uh, five dollars for this soup. And uh, yeah, gotta do it. Ah, I need water. Water. Here we go. Tofu clam soup. Oh my god. This is just for me? Are you eating? You're not eating? Eat. I just taste it. Alright, alright. Well, I'll taste it. What is this? This is not. Is this the clam? Not the clam. There is the clam. Oh, man. <laughs> this is too hot, though. Yes, sir. It's way too hot. Now have a little bit of tofu. Tofu. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, it's a little hot. <laughs> okay, let's pour it. I just want to taste it. Taste Even it? Even me, I don't... I we have to taste it, why not? You? Where are the clams? You eat everything, no? So we got some vegetables, we have mushrooms, we have a lot of tofu. Like when I mean a lot, I mean a lot of tofu. Let me see, where's the clams? Okay. I'm gonna let it cool down for a second. Okay, so let's try this thing. It was a little too hot for me at first, but now it's good. Mm. So fresh. Is that hot sauce? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Pass me the chili sauce. Let's eat that. Let's try this. Chili sauce, look at this. Nice. Let's put it all over this. Get rid of these. Mmm. Wow, this tofu is delicious. Mmm. So soft. Yeah. You want to take a picture here? Look at this. Mmm. Man, those mushrooms. That was a perfect, the perfect call to get these shells, no? So fresh. The fresh is the best. Yeah. And that's the best part about coming here to the seaside market, is that the seafoods, the freshest seafood you'll get in all Manila. Yes. Here. Seaside market. Mmm. They're all alive when you buy it. Mm -hmm. So what James just told me is that all the seafood's alive, and as you saw, everything's alive. You buy it alive, you bring it over, they cook it, you eat it. You can't get any fresher than that. Oh, man. Mm. The chili, like, gives it such a little, you know, changes the whole flavor of the chili. Yes, sir. The whole thing. It brings some saltiness. Mm hmm. The best way to drink your soup after you finish your clams. Ooh. Wow. You liked it, no? So if you love seafood and you come to Manila, come to the Seaside Market, buy some clams, some crabs, some lobster, whatever you're into, come over to any of the restaurants and they're gonna cook it for you. It's a great experience. It's like really local. Most tourists don't do this, but you have to do it. All right, halo halo? Yes sir. Halo halo for real? If we find some. If I don't get a halo halo, I'm going to the brewery next door to my place.
perfect. <laughs> so James, what do you think of the drone? It's amazing, sir. Yeah. That's my second time I saw a drone. My first, my first time is a while ago. <laughs> it's my second. So as you can see, that's what the market looks like from above. This is a different city. It's called Passide City. That is where the seaside seafood wet market is. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of flies. There's a lot of dead animals around here. Yeah. <laughs> So our wet market tour is over. We visited three incredible wet markets. They were all huge and they were all different in so many ways. Uh, man, the seafood market was insane. I mean, in terms of how much seafood shellfish we saw, it's just like, it's incredible. And I, I really enjoyed that one. I really loved the second one as well, the Mega Q. It was just expansive, so many different fruits and just ginormous. I hope that when you come to Manila, you visit a wet market, it's a must. I definitely recommend coming here with a local, you know, it's just a little easier. You don't want to be walking around taking photos, being alone. It just doesn't feel right there, you know, so. Is that correct? Yes, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm headed back to my hotel, the Zumi Boutique Hotel in Alabang. It's about a 30 minute drive and then I'm going to walk over to a brewery and have a beer and finish my day. I'll see you in two seconds. Hey, James, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Great day. Great day, sir. Thank you, Tom. God bless, sir. God bless. Thank you. Take care. Day is done. That was James, my Uber driver. He took me around for the day. What's up, guys? Yeah. What up? <laughs> Good? You guys all know about the vlogging stuff, huh? <laughs> all right. Yeah, right? Sorry, guys. All right, so that's it. I think I'm going to crash for a bit and then probably go have a beer. But that's it for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Good morning, everyone. David Hoffman here from David's Been Here in Manila, the Philippines. I'm staying here at the beautiful Azumi Boutique Hotel in the southern end of Manila. It's the Alabang area. And today I'm meeting up with my friend Kara and we're doing a street art tour of the BGC area, which is the Beneficio Global City, which is basically the financial district. Let's go over there. I'm taking an Uber. It's gonna take me around 40 minutes. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to BGC. Hello. How are you? Perfect. Uber. The best way to get around Manila. The drive from Alabang to BGC is around 45 minutes. That all depends on traffic though because this city is one of the worst cities in the world for traffic. And right now we're very lucky there's almost no traffic, but I'm sure we're gonna hit some bumps in between. Um, I'm sure we're gonna get stuck some places in between getting there. It's gonna, t it's gonna take us around 45 minutes to get from Alabang to BGC, and that's a very little traffic. And this is one of the worst cities in the world for traffic. I got very lucky because there's a conference going on right now. Trump is here and a lot of prime ministers are here. So there's less traffic. They did close some streets though, so it's a little crazy to get to places. But this is a giant city. It's humongous, so getting around usually takes between 45 minutes and up to three hours to get anywhere when there's traffic. So please be aware, traffic is a major problem here. So if you're trying to coordinate your schedule when you come to Manila, you know, always add an extra hour to get anywhere. It's real. So this is the BGC area, financial district. It's so clean, it's beautiful. It's like a brand new city here. So Kara, where are we going? What are we doing? Okay, so this is uh, BGC or Bonifacio Global City. It's the business and financial district in Manila. There are a lot of offices here, boutiques, shops. Uh, it's a nice bike friendly place. There's some parks. It's rare to find a place here in Manila where you know you have like greenery and uh, places to just bike and run around so uh, yeah 
here. And uh, so, so what's up with the street art? Because you're telling me we're going on a street art tour. There's like a lot of street art in this area. Uh, right now, so so you, you can see it's all buildings, right? Kind of boring. Uh, it's just very. Uh, it's, it's all concrete, but uh, about a couple of years ago, there was this uh, Arts BGC Festival. They got local artists and some international artists too, to uh, just decorate some of the buildings, just liven it up a bit. So there's just a small one over here, and okay. then we can go in yeah. after. I mean, driving in, I saw a bunch, like oh, yeah, really yeah. big ones. So were you, were you able to shoot those? Or no, no I mean, because we were like yeah. running. Yeah. But uh, yeah, okay, so this is cool. So a kid with a, a bear. So just making use of the, you know, random spaces. This is beautiful here. So basically what they're doing here is they're maximizing all the empty space. So there's a parking lot and just in this parking lot we have like four different murals. This one's beautiful, I love it. And it's by KJ, what is that? KJK Collection? The artist of this one is Bunny Rice. I actually made this list before, so okay. I'm, I'm referring just to, to, for the location. Because a lot of people were asking me, like, when you, when you post it on Instagram, hey, where exactly is that? Because I want to take an OOTD shot there. So I just made the whole master list. Oh, it's so. awesome, it's awesome. What, what is it? Stranger uh, Things? Stranger Things. There's a new mural there that uh, I didn't see last time I was here. So that will be cool. Stranger Things. Big fan. Demi Gorgon. Yes. <laughs> Uh, this is another small one by the same guy who did the the uh, kid with the bear earlier. So this is Nate Ritzel. So just lots of hidden uh, artwork around. Oh. So it's flowers with eyeballs, right? So we have here. And this guy put a carrot right here at the very corner. Nice. Loving the murals. So this is called Wallflowers. Cool. Places to uh, if, if the where the locations were that I spotted this. So yeah, Stranger Things. I'm a big fan. Just finished se watching season two, so you have the upside down. So we got the Stranger Things right here. I love it, and you can see Eleven is upside down right there. We got Demigorgon at the top. This is sick. Hey, okay, just walking around, you notice things like that. I think it's the same from the same artist who did the bird and the, you know all, all those little kids with animals. Yeah, I mean all his stuff is very similar, very small, always a kid. Yeah, always a kid with an animal. Then this is a tiger, there was a bear, and then a kid with birds. So, yeah. so it's always a kid with an animal, tiger, bear, birds. I really like his stuff though because it's like it's subtle and it's just, you know you would never notice it's there unless you like literally go up to it, you know. Yes. What are you guys doing? Have a yeah, oh yeah? Good. You're not vlogging? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Filming. <laughs> All right, awesome. Take care, guys. That's what I love about the Philippines, though. Everybody's doing it. Yeah. You know, everybody's so social. Especially, like, the younger generation. You know, the high school kids. National, uh, yeah, national hero, Andres. Why they covered it with this? Damn. So it didn't have this before? No, this one, oh, wow. there wasn't this way before, so you could get a clear shot, but now, I don't know, <laughs> kind of hard. Yeah, now, now you barely see it. So there's a huge mural here, but they just put this building here. I don't know how that happened. Uh, this, this one was done in 2015. DJ Paleste. 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 DJ Paleste did this one right here. I like it. This I like this face here. And the blue is really cool. So what is it called? What is it called? Four Seasons. And why is it called Four Seasons? Uh, it, it, it features like uh, these women with just the different seasons of nature. And it goes all around? Yeah, it goes around. The so it's called Four Seasons. It features the four different seasons in nature. And there's four walls, obviously. So it goes all around. It goes all around. Yeah. What is this? Is it a block? It just goes all around this block. This place reminds me of Brickle. Brickle is the financial district in Miami. This is like super similar. The only difference here is that all I see is office buildings. I see very little condo buildings. Oh, there's a few over there. And it's super clean. Part of the cleanest place in Manila. You never know when you go back there. Is it still going to be there? Are they going to paint over it? So, I mean, it's different now. 
So this huge mural she was taking me to is gone, but they did another mural on top of it, as you can see right here. You don't know anything about that mural? I have no idea. There <laughs> you go. Sure. This guy's gonna hit us or what? That's a huge mural. Look at that, 10 stories tall? How long did it take to paint that forever? Have you ever seen a 10 story mural? Now you have, here in Manila. This is new, so uh, this used to be an open field also, but it looks like they set up a weekend market. But and what is this? Uh, this is an astronaut by Circle. Okay, Kara, uh, so you're leaving? Uh, I'll just get my bag. If you want to start shooting the drone, and then I'll, I'll pass by here a bit. Okay. To, just to see you off. And okay, okay, perfect. Uh, Alright, I'm going to shoot the drone up really fast. Hopefully no one tells me anything. There's strict rules here in the Philippines about the drone, so... Gotta be careful. So, today is the second time on this trip that I lost my drone. I don't know what's wrong with the Mavic Pro, but every time I'm getting to the end of my battery, when it's going to come home, I just lose signal and it just disappears and I mean I think we're very lucky because I got to find my drone app and it sits on top of this building and they're checking so hopefully it's there and it's not destroyed. Sir, do you put lights here? That's the throw away. Thank you. There. One of those. Uber, right? Maybe. Yes, yes. Okay, sorry. No, I, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you so I, much I for hope everything. I goes okay. It will be fine. Now we're off to lunch at Maria Luisa's Garden Club. Uh, I'm having lunch with the owner, Robert. Yes. Gonna some good food. On uh, another note, uh, the drone, we found it, but it was broken. So, no more drone footage for this trip. So street art is pretty sick here at the BGC. Um, love the huge ones, for sure. Like the 10 story building ones, those are amazing. In this area, it's like super clean. Lots of skyscrapers. They're really doing a good job in building this area. And it is the financial district. I mean, there's not that much to do besides going to see the street art and possibly going out at night. A lot of people working. And uh, yeah, financial district. If you've ever been to any other financial district, it's very similar. But for Manila, it's a completely different because, like I said, it's super clean, very safe, and uh, yeah, they have a lot of restaurants there. Turn right on Green Blades. So now I'm going to lunch at Maria Luisa's Garden Club. I'm having lunch with the owner, Robert, and that is in Makati City. And I'm here. All right, bro. Where is the entrance? Right there? Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Take care. Makati Club. Beautiful, it's like a garden in here. Is the restaurant? Yes. Hello. So this is actually a French style restaurant. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the red curry salmon at the main course. They're also gonna bring me an appetizer. And uh, the owner, Robert, is gonna be back in a few minutes. And what's up? <laughs> For appetizer, we have uh, shrimp, top of chips. Mm. Good, good shrimp. So I have another appetizer. This is potato, uh, like a fried potato with caviar. Let's see how this is. It looks amazing. How much caviar is this? Cream cheese. Wow. Mm. 
flavors. He's like, I can get another one of those. Thank you. And here we have the main course, salmon with red curry. I am starving. Mm. Oh, I love the curry. Not too hot. Very tasty. The curry is perfect for the rice. Mm. This is delicious. Hello everybody, this is Makati Garden Club and I'm Chef Robert Lilia and here we have Scandinavian French cuisine plus we grow everything that we serve here in our own garden. Welcome, come. So Robert was telling me this is a private club, uh, it costs 1200 pesos per year and the, you can come here one time to eat lunch but after that you have to become a member and all the proceeds from, the, from that membership go to scholarships. Scholarships for horticulture and agriculture and culinary. So we have around 20 scholarships a year going and um, this is for street children of Manila. We are searching and looking and we're going to some other charitable organizations that helps us to find the scholars. Okay. Here we're also growing, here we have arugula, we have uh, kaffir lime, we have bay leaf leaves that I just planted the other week. And we also make our own herbs here for the restaurant. Okay, come inside. Here is like a little French cottage in the middle of Makati. Oh, my Swaborski mirror that was donated by one of the lady members. All the decor here is donated by the lady members. They're so keen on this and they love this place. It started as a women's club uh, with 16 members from 1975 and then I come here five years ago and now we're 1,500 members and men are now allowed. Thank you. The same way out, right? Oh, uh, it's this way. Okay. Yeah, that restaurant was delicious. <laughs> my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, he, I think that's him. That's my Uber driver. Alright, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Okay. Yeah, I just started pouring out of nowhere. Right, let me get in here. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? So if you're in the Makati area, definitely recommend you come here. The restaurant is amazing. It's different from eating Filipino food if you want to change it up. Come here, it's like Scandinavian slash French. I love that salmon curry. Wow. Robert's awesome, by the way. <laughs> He's a funny guy. He's a funny, funny guy. 
so I'm done here in Makati. I'm headed back to Alabang to my hotel. It's around a 40 minute drive depending on traffic. And yeah, I'm gonna relax for a few hours at the Zumi Boutique Hotel. In a few hours, I'm going to the Perfect Pint. It's a microbrewery right next to my hotel. They have like 20 beers on top and I'm excited to try the Habanero IPA. They say it's very spicy. Yeah, it's it's on the left there. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm Maria Tanglao. I'm the PR and liaison officer of Azumi Boutique Hotel. So Azumi Boutique Hotel is located here at 2205 Madrigal Business Park here in Alabang. So Azumi is inspired as a very stylish boutique hotel which is very different from other hotels here in the area. So we have 168 rooms in total and then we do have very few rooms that has a big balcony which is called garden room. The rooftop is one of our best selling point which has the salt water infinity pool that has the 360 degree view of the Alabang South Line. One of the famous here in Azumi is this one, the Echo Karat. It helps you absorb the otherness. It breathes very fresh, like you don't need to use any other perfume or whatever stuff. Okay. Yes. So whenever you're here in Manila, you have to visit us. You can also follow our Facebook account, which is Azumi Boutique Hotel. And we do have also an Instagram account, which is Azumi Hotel. Also on Twitter, we do have you can also call us at 869-988 or visit our website at www.azumi.ph Hi everyone, David Hoffman here from David's Been Here. Right now I'm in Alabang, Manila, Metro Manila, in the Philippines with my friend Maria. This is the Azumi Boutique Hotel, one of the best hotels in the city. We're here on the rooftop, there's an amazing pool right here, insane. So she's from the Philippines and here in the Philippines they speak Tagalog. Okay, uh, please? Please, in Tagalog is parang awa. Parang awa. Parang awa. Okay. Can you say it? Parang awa. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you is very simple. Salamat. Salamat. Yes. Nice one. You're welcome. You're welcome. In Tagalog is walang anuman. Wala walang anuman. anuman. Walang. Walang. Anuman. Anuman. That's right. Walang anuman. Yes. Okay. Okay, what's next? Okay, uh, no and yes or yes and no? No in Tagalog is hindi. And yes in Tagalog is oo. Oh -oh. Oo. Oh -oh. Oo. Oh -oh. Correct. That's awesome. Okay, so every time somebody says yes, like oo, oh oo. -oh. Oh -oh. Okay. Or sometimes they say puede. Puede. If yes. Puede or oo. Oh -oh. Puede o oh, o oh, o. Oh. Yes. yes. Depends on the se sentence. Okay. That's uh. Sorry. Let me see. So. So okay. One through ten. The numbers. Okay. Um. Hello. My name is. Ah. Uh, it's like. Hi, Dini. We say hello as well. Hello. Ang pangalan ko. Eh. Ang pangalan ko ay Maria. Okay. And then uh. Let's do like uh, water. Too big. Too big. Yes, too big. Too big. Yes. Um, how about food? Pagkain. Pagkain. Yes, that's correct. Pagkain. Uh, beer. Beer. Or wine. Alak. General. Thank you. All right, so we're walking over to the perfect pint. This is one of the first craft breweries in Manila. They have two locations. This one's in Alabang and uh, they have over 20 beers on top. Lots of IPAs, lots of styles. This is a lot of different beers. They also have food and uh, and they're located only like a five minute walk from my hotel. So perfect place if you're staying here at the Zoom Boutique Hotel. I can't wait to have a stout right now. An IPA, Habanero IPA. Ooh. Gotta be 
careful here. No one stops for you. What's up, man? Oh, oh. Just waiting for your shirt. You ready to drink? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go upstairs so we can see their barrels. What uh, what size are the barrels? Yes. The bear, the fermenting tanks. We have eight fermenters right now, so this is our. We are new to the shop. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? They have eight four barrel fermenters. And as you can see them right here. So the reason they do this, the owner was telling me, is because he wants to make limited amounts, you know, smaller batches, and then get them going out and just keep experimenting. That's what he was telling me. Right, Samantha? Yes. Come on, Mia, you gotta tell me. First, we're gonna have a milling. Okay. Milling the grain first. Yeah. We're gonna use this, this is our small milling machine. Perfect. Yes, and then after we gonna they have a mashing, mashing the milling, and then after that the lottering, then we gonna this is our grains. That's that. And after this we gonna transfer here using this one. Okay. That's here boiling, boiling for uh, 90 minutes. So they boil it for about 90 minutes, and then from here it goes over. From here we gonna transfer the boiling from over here. Here. Okay. This one is our cooling. Transfer. This is their cooling? Yes. This one is up before this one gonna transfer to the fermenter. Okay, and then it goes over to the fermenter. Now let's try the beers. Now it's time to try the beers. How many beers do you have on top right now? We have 21 on top. How much? 21. 21 beers? Alright, we're gonna try them all but small. No, not small. Yeah. Try the big glass. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> You can do half. First one's Holy Grail, second one's Indie Wit. The one you liked it last night. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Triple IPA. I love this one, Coco Loco. Coco Loco, Coconut, Philippines. The next one's my favorite actually, the Okie Dokie. Okie Dokie. And in terms of food, what do you recommend I try tonight? I'm just gonna get like one thing. Burger? Burger? The, our best seller, Oyster CC. Want to try that? What is it? Oyster. And we're gonna put it on CC. Oysters. Served with a sizzling plate, sir. Sizzling. Oh, a sizzling plate, okay. Yeah, why not? Whatever you just think, one, whatever is best one, for camera. Just one food or. I mean, we can do two. We can do two because that might be small, right? Oh my god, this is like... <laughs> mm. 
for camera, it's gonna be great though. Let's finish this all. Next, sunburst. Sunburst season. Extra special bitter. Now the last one. Yeah. Have you tasted it last night? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you tasted. You tasted it all. I tasted That's it all. But yeah. I forgot what what you I tasted. It. <laughs> It's a pumpkin corner, Halloween beer. One more, one more. One last. Okay, so they poured me all 21 beers that they have on top. They make all these beers. They have no guest beers. This is all their creations. Woo! And what I did is I didn't overdo it because usually they fill up to the top. That's a sampler. Went a little lower this time. So we're going to start. I have a list here of all the beers. It's actually 22 beers, not 21. 22 because they have an extra special bitter beer. And here we go. We're starting with the Holy Grail Double IPA. Mm. It's not too strong. It's like perfect. Mm. It's definitely an IPA. Very hoppy. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. This is the Indie Wit IPA. Yeah, this is extremely light. It's like very, very light IPA. Not too hoppy. I like this. I can drink this all day. This is the habanero. This is one of the best beers I've ever had. It's a spicy beer. I actually came here the other night. I didn't tell you guys. Woo! This is nice. Maya, I like this one. Okay. Next is the Haze Craze. Haze Craze? The Haze Craze IPA. They have like six IPAs here. Mm. That one has a different flavor, no? It's not too hoppy, very light, but it has something very, like a little sweetness to it. Yeah. Fruity aroma? Okay, so it's like a little fruity. It's very nice. This is the Sintra Triple IPA. Triple IPA, if you've never had a Triple IPA, it's really good. Very strong beer. I think this is 10% alcohol. Mm. But it's soft. It's sweet. It's nice. Not too strong. I like it. So next one is Wisdom of the Clouds IPA. And that is right here, right? Six. Yes. Yes. This is the lightest of the IPAs. It actually feels more like a pale ale. Not too hoppy. Yeah, this is definitely a beer you could drink at the beach. You could just drink all day under the sun. I like that, very light. Okay. This is the Working Man Blues Pale Ale. Mm. This actually feels more like an IPA. It's a little stronger. Rich in malt? Rich in malt? Yeah, has a lot more malt. Not too hoppy. But none of the IPs are too like overbearing hoppy, you know. That's amazing. And then uh, Hoppy Road, another IPA. Yeah, this, this is way more hoppy. And now we're gonna jump into the stouts. Right here we have the Black Mamba. It's either Kobe Bryant or the Black Mamba in the Wild. 
Mm. So can you taste Very coffee. Lots of coffee here. Yeah, it's, it's not too strong. It's a nice light stout, but definitely a lot of espresso beans in here. Do you use espresso beans? No. Yes. You do, you do. Okay. I mean, you coffee beans. What did I say here? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mike. Okay, they're the finish. Okay. That's Coco Loco. This is the Coco Loco, and I'm sure there's coconut in here. Mmm. Coconut, so good. Coconut, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coconut. Yeah, this is very nice. If you like coconut, this is your beer. Okay. What's this one? Okay. So, I tried this the other night. This is probably my favorite beer. It's called the Okie Doki Porter. But it's really nice. I mean, if you like barrel aged beers, this is your beer here. This is a really nice beer. What's next? This bittersweet amber ale. This is the only amber ale, right? Mm. What's the fruit in here? Blueberry, strawberry, and grapefruit. Okay, so it's blueberry, strawberry, and grapefruit. Yeah, it is really fruity for an amber ale, and it's not too strong. It's what, like five and a half percent? Am I wrong on that? Five and a half? 7.5. Oh my god. Okay, 7.5. <laughs> really light on your palate. It's light, it's light, but it's strong at the same time. 7.5, I mean, once you get 7 and up, it's like you start feeling it, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here we have the cacao. What is it? Cacao cake. Okay, so the cacao cake breakfast stout. That's. Chocolate. Very Chocolate. dark. It looks like chocolate. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Definitely taste the chocolate cacao in there. Mm, yeah. This is like a dessert beer. Yes. Sure. This one looks thick and delicious. This is what? This is a street smart pale ale. That's my boss favorite. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a light pale ale, not too, not too hoppy. <laughs> I like it, I like it. <laughs> I'll go back to this one for a second. Mm. Okay, what's next? This is the Thirsty Dog Weizen. Yeah. This is a German yes. style beer. Yes. Yeah. The beer. <sighs> Mm. It's like a sour beer, almost like a sour. It's the closest to sour that you have, because you have no sours. Okay. Blushing Irish Red Ale. This is the Blushing Irish Red Ale. The cool thing about this place is that they have a mix of all the types of beers. They're missing like a Pilsner, which I really don't care for. Uh, I like all these types of beers. Pale Ale, IPA, Stout, Porter. I think you're missing an imperial style. That should come next. Okay, so let's try the red ale. Yeah? Yes. Mmm. It, it, it is. It's very, like, it tastes very similar to a red, I mean, where I've had around the world. Caramel? Yeah. That was the correct way to do it, right? <laughs> this is a school of hard knocks IPA. Yeah. Oh, it's good. What's, what's the taste here? What does it have? Uh, it have a great food flavor and you have a nice aroma for the hops. What is it? Was it? Good smell for the hops and you have the great, great food flavor. Oh, grapefruit? Okay, that's, I was starting to think what fruit that is, but it's grapefruit. Okay. Man, so many IPAs. <laughs> this is the Summer Saison. Higher alcohol, lower bitterness. Yeah. This is a strong beer. 10%? Yeah. 
8.2? No way. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Ready to hold, please? Please, please, please. <laughs> Alright, so this is their dunkle. It's called Thirsty Dog. Like the dark green beer. Mm. Yeah. It's a, it is, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's straight wheat here. Mm. Here we have the pumpkin porter. Does it like pumpkin? Yes. Yep. This is for Halloween, right? <laughs> pumpkin and chocolate. Mmm, this is nice. Exactly what you said. Pumpkin and chocolate, right there. Wow. And this is called the Extra Special Bitter. The last beer. 22 beers. Mm. What does that taste? Huh. Lots of hops? Uh, I mean, it's hoppy, but what's the taste inside? I mean, malty and hoppy. Malty and hoppy. It's malty, hoppy, and not bitter at all. <laughs> extra bitter. Yeah, extra bitter. <laughs> but it's not really bitter. It's not really because it's a 3.1 something. Yeah, so this is probably the lightest beer, 3.1. I mean, it's very nice. This you can drink forever. And, well, I can go forever, forever. <laughs> so I try all the beers. And number one beer is this one. Okie dokie somewhere here. And then number two for sure is the habanero because that's a very spicy beer and if you're just spicy food like me, you're gonna freaking love this beer. Where is it? Oh, right here. Habanero and then three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this. No, no, no. 14, 13, 12. These are my favorite beers. Habanero and Okie Doki. So now we're gonna have some food because they also make some delicious food here. It's not like fast food. It's really nice food, not regular bar food. So I'm trying two of their dishes. One of them is this one. This is deep fried oysters. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Then we have the classic chicken wings. Beer and chicken wings always goes good together. Still have a little bit of beer left. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna try this one because it's gonna be easier right now. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow. Not not too spicy. More. This is a crispy ribs. And then here we have crispy ribs. Look at this. And the black pepper sauce. So we're gonna jump into the oysters. Deep fried oysters. This looks so bomb. Mmm. Wow. If you didn't tell me it was oysters, I wouldn't know. That's delicious. On top of the sizzle right here. Mmm. And it is oyster season, right? Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Mm. So it's oyster sauce. Let me see. Oh man. Still cooking here. Oh my god, I can eat this whole thing. These are the ribs? Crispy ribs? Yes. Woo! Falls off easily. Still a little hot. What's the sauce? Black pepper sauce. Black pepper sauce. Oh my god. These ribs are delicious. Oh my god. So fresh. Right off the bone. These oysters. Mm. Wow. So 
so good. I've never had oysters this good. I have, but not this good. This good is like, this is a different world. Mm -hmm. you can, you can These are all, oyster. each one's an oyster, right? Yeah, all the mm. And the sauce is oyster sauce. Yes, oyster sauce. That's always the oyster sauce. Mm. This is delicious. I can't stop. <laughs> oh well. Can I have some water? These oysters, dude. That brewery really surprised me. I didn't know the Philippines was into craft beer. Beers were really, really good. But the food there blew my mind. Those oysters, wow. So good. Deep fried oysters, who knew? And for me, definitely the Habanero IPA and the Okie Dokie Porter. Those are my favorite beers. You gotta come here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna crash now. I'm so tired. Tomorrow I have a flight to Singapore. So I'll see you in Singapore. Peace. In Cebu. Cebu. I'm gonna go with the other one. The Zig Zagger. The Zig Zagger. And that's an ale, right? Uh, it's triple half. A triple IPA. Oh, okay, okay. Triple hop. Yes, sir. So that means triple IPA, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm gonna try their zigzagger triple IPA. Let's do it. What about you? What are you getting? I'm just gonna get a girly beer. A girly beer. What, <laughs> girly beer? what, what is that? A, a, a blonde ale. <laughs> this is your beer, sir. Zigzagger. It's made from Baguio. Dude, what, I like this. I like it. It's brand new. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Looks new. <laughs> Mmm, I love it. So good. You're drinking with a <laughs> She's not 16. Encanto, Encanto is made from Laguna. And Pibo Brown last is made from Makati. Right, You're in okay, Makati. Okay. Encanto is 5%. Oh, it's it. alcohol. You're so blind. <laughs> mm. Like it. Hey, I'm Bong. Let's try it. So I just dive in. I think you should put the calamansi first. Calamansi uh, lemon? Calamansi, yeah. Yes. Oh, nice. Deep brain. Here we go. The works right here. Wow. Oh my god. This is delicious. Mm. A little spicy. It's so good. So this is tusok tusok. It's um, fish ball, squid, squid, quick quick, which is made of quail egg. So everything is Filipino street food. That's our theme. This is also Filipino street food from Pampanga. Fish ball. What is this? Okay. So we pierce it. Anyone? Yeah. This sauce? Yes. So good. Can I have a little ball. What? This is the food I've been missing in the Philippines. Oh my god. Here we go. This is the quail egg here. Mm. 
and a little mushy ball. Oh yeah, that sauce. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Next spot. Let's go eat some food. I like the hat. Because I don't know where it is. Okay. We're on an adventure to find Balot. Daisy <laughs> was talking about that sells uh, Filipino spirits. Okay. Yeah. This and this one, cool. this is the new one. This is the Olivia. They have a uh, local craft beer also. Okay. This one. I love this little neighborhood. Feels like I'm somewhere in Latin America. <laughs> you're like in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like you're in a favela in Brazil. What's up, man? How are you doing? is a Mexican joint. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's El called Chupacabra. El Chupacabra. El Chupacabra. Yeah. You know, that's a made up uh, animal, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a myth it's that it exists. It's a monster, right? Yeah. All right, so this is the one thing you have to try when you come to the Philippines. It's called balu, and it is an egg. So, uh, what's the thing behind it? How, how long does it like stay fermenting, or how does this work? Oh, like three days? Oh God, I don't know. Tell us, Kuya, how long the duck embryo? How old is it? Eighteen days. Ten days. Eighteen. Eighteen. One of okay. it. Okay. And then sauces. Good okay, good mix. Good mix. Yeah. I think that's good. I don't want my stomach to be like. What sauce? Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Make it spicy. Sweet Why not? Spicy. How about vinegar? No vinegar. No. Alright, so let's try it. So what's the first one? What's this? Fish ball? Squid ball. Squid ball. Yeah. Mmm. Good. Tastes like a churro. No? What's a churro? Like it's, like it's like dough. It's like a lot of dough. This one? Kikyam. 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 Yeah, made of meat. Mmm. This is good. So this, this is like dessert. It's all dessert. And the, and the hot sauce is not even that hot. It's like more sweet. Mm. Nice sausage. Mm. So, no squid ball. Huh? Mm. That one is quite quite. Quail egg. Quail egg. Yeah. There's whale egg right here. Shop, shop. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's delicious, man. Sorry. Right. I'm overdoing it. You only live once, right? Yep. Mm. This man. Okay, what kind of hat? How much the hat? 24. 24. So 3 pesos each, right? Yep. 3 pesos each? Yep, 3. <laughs> and for the balut, 17 pesos. 17. With vinegar? Just dip it? Yeah, dip it. Okay, with vinegar. Mmm. Pretty good. A little chewy. It tastes, it's not bad, and the vinegar definitely gives it a little kick. Mm. Wow. Who would have thought? Chicken intestines. For five pesos. <laughs> mm. Nice spices. I don't know what they put on it, but that was good. Yummy. <laughs> Next. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're gonna go find. Family restaurant. 
So here we have the Halo Halo. Mm. That's a good ice cream. Mm. This is like a flan. Mm. This is not for anybody on a diet. <laughs> I'm trying to mix, but it's not easy. It also reminds me of a chendol. Wow, this is delicious. Very refreshing with the heat here in the Philippines. This is like, this is the perfect thing to have outside. Mm. See you in Singapore.